My kitchen looks like crafting time. Welcome back, guys. It's been a while. I think it's been like close to two weeks that we just took a little Thanksgiving Day respite break and I am getting busy making all the homemade Christmas gifts. I left, last uh, was in the kitchen with you guys when we were making up, you know, all the fun jar mixes. Hey, Rue, stop. So that's super fun for um, like food gift baskets, but I like to do a lot of beauty gift baskets too. So I'll bring you just a few of those recipes um, or mixes today. It, this one is just super simple, super cheap, uh, and very, very beautiful. And we're just gonna make some um, lavender and eucalyptus salt bath mixes. So I'll bring you guys down here and show you what I've got and we'll mix it together, put it in the jars together, and I'll tell you what other kind of fun things I'll do to jazz it up. And then we will get into the next series. I think I'm gonna make a tallow body butter, um, a matcha honey face mask, and a like, essential oil perfume type roll-on so the girls will have something fun in their in their gifts this year so come on over here and let's get started okay so i went ahead and pre-measured out um and you can scale this recipe for whatever size you know of gifts that you're making this should get me eight jars i'm hoping eight jelly jars to half jelly jar sizes. So I'm gonna start with 32 ounces of Epsom salt. And I'm gonna add, I said three ounces. I'm not quite sure what three ounces is. Let's, I did bring my scale out just in case. So we can. Three ounces, but I'm doubling it almost, so see how much of course sorry coarse Himalayan sea salt might be faster this way I didn't quite double it like one and a half times the recipe so I need about a, one and a half more ounces okay and the same of fine sea salt, fine pink Himalayan sea salt. All right, and I was not super, super particular about that. The next thing that we need to add is, um, probably 60 drops of whatever essential oil you want to use. I'm going to be adding, um, these are lavender buds that I harvested this past summer and let dry. So I am gonna stick with lavender and um, I'm gonna add some eucalyptus just in case, you know, you get sick over the winter, you don't feel quite good and lavender's just so, or the eucalyptus is just so calming. Um, well, not calming, but you know, opens your airways and so we're gonna add probably 40 drops of lavender and then I'll add 20 drops of eucalyptus. Okay, and eucalyptus. I know I got it out somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay, we're gonna mix that all up really, really well. Get all those oils nice and incorporated in with the salts. And then we'll add our lavender bulbs, um, or buds, and we'll just jar it up. It's that fast, but it's beautiful. And oh, mm, smells good already. Oh, remember too, I got that sand this summer from the from the river at the cabin and to the beauty bu um, baskets, I'm gonna be making that sand scrub too. And I did figure out a way to um, 
you know, clean the sand to just get rid of any potential bacteria that would be in it or bad, you know, bad little things. So, all right. Now I have, what does it call for though? Three tablespoons of dried flowers. So let's see, that's one. I don't even know if I have quite what the recipe calls for. So I'd say I probably had five and a half um, tablespoons of lavender buds. You could use um, calendula flowers, rose petals, um, what else would be good in here? Um, maybe some pretty blue borage flowers would be pretty. And I wasn't too particular that if any lavender leaves got in there, I was like, oh, that's fine. Okay ready to jar it up. Now for these, I did bring out um, the wide mouth but squat pint jars, some clear jelly jars, and um, to jazz it up, I have some fun wooden mason tops. I do not believe you can find these anymore. I'll leave the link to mason tops website just in case they got smart and brought them back because they make super fun gift um, toppers. Make sure I get that all good, all the way to the bottom. Don't wanna jinx anyone of their fair share of lavender. take one of our mason tops and that is just a beautiful gift to give to your loved ones and even if you don't go all out and just make like a ton of beauty products that it's just like a, a handful in each bath so that's probably a good nice healthy bath a month an Epsom salt bath a month so I'm gonna fill it, finish filling up these jars and I'll at least show you guys how much this recipe makes. So in case you're interested, you would know how to either scale it up or scale it down for what you wanna do. Okay, well that turned out perfect. So, um, Girlfriends, sorry if you're watching. I get together every year with my best girlfriends and I always give them something homemade. And they love the baskets. It's usually something different every year. So that's what this large one pint um, jar will go in my girlfriend's baskets. And then I have four beautiful daughters and they will get these um, cute ones in their stockings or something like that. So I ended up with four jelly jars, eight ounce jars, and one pint. So hopefully this gives you just a wonderful idea of something quick and easy, but absolutely beautiful, healthy for your friends. Let them know that you're thinking of them all throughout the year as they use it. And then they have a jar and a cute lid to just use for something else in the future. So stay with me guys, I'll be bringing you quite a few of these ideas to make beautiful baskets for your loved ones this year for Christmas. Talk to you guys later.